look who I'm here with you guys. It's Emily and Moe. Emily, tell me what life is like with Moe. Life is amazing with Moe. She definitely keeps me on my toes. She doesn't let me sleep at night. She is a total diva, but honestly, she's very, very sweet. Very snuggly, very easy to look after. So Moe came from probably an unregulated breeder and taken to a local pet shop. And the pet shops here are awful places. Cats are kept in very small wire cages or bird cages even, and given very little food and water. So Moe probably caught cat flu from another cat or pet in the pet shop and was being left to die in that cage for months and months. Luckily, she was taken to a wonderful local vet who do a lot of pro bono work and help with rescues and they removed her eyes really to save her life because they were ruptured and they would have been decaying otherwise. So it's actually very important to remove the eyes for their comfort. I met her maybe five days after her surgery and fell in love straight away. I couldn't say no to her. I can't help but notice there's two cats who look very similar, but Here's Shandy. Can you tell me a little bit about Shandy? Yeah, Shandy came all the way from Santa Rosa in California. So that's halfway around the world from us. So it's a long, long trip. And somebody tagged Moe on her Twitter account and said, this cat looks just like Moe the blind cat. So I clicked on her picture and sometimes a cat's soul speaks to you. And it, it just spoke to me. I had to have her. What advice do you have for people who are adopting a blind cat for the first time? I think, think about, are you experienced with cats? Do you know how to introduce them if you've got another cat? So that's very important. So blind cats are just like other cats in that respect. You've got to make sure that you're bonding them properly, but make sure your house is safe. Think about every area that they might be able to fall, hurt themselves, and make sure that that's cat proofed, if you like, so that their environment is safe for them to explore. I've noticed that you do have some cat-proofed areas that seem specific for those cats. Can you talk about what you did on the stairs? Yeah, so I fully enclosed banisters on the stairs and that is from top to bottom. So there's no way that it can fall through the banisters and it's high enough so that they can't jump over either. So it means it's totally safe for them. Is there anything else that you've learned to do to cat-proof your house for a blind cat that people might not think about? Yes, I carpeted my stairs. And that's not to say that they wouldn't manage on marble stairs, but it just means that they've got something to grip onto a little bit better if they're running up and down the stairs. And the other big thing for me is the garden. So my garden is fully enclosed, not just on the sides, but also the roof as well. So, you know, there's no wasps coming in, anything that they can be, you know, vulnerable to basically. Mm -hmm. So Shandy is spice and Moe is sugar, for sure. So Shandy is really super sassy. It's basically Shandy's way or the highway, baby. Whereas Moe's like, hi, I'm here, love me. I'm what beautiful. is, look at what she's doing. <laughs> she does that a lot actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. So she's a character. So Moe's more adventurous, even though she's the sweet one of the two. Shandy's less adventurous, um, but also more snuggly as well. So they have their own personalities for sure. Yeah, can you talk about kind of how they navigate their world and how you set it up so that they have, you know, success in this environment? It's very important not to move anything. So basically once you have your house set up and you've geared up everything and shown them to navigate, then everything stays in its place. Of course I get new things and sometimes things will move around, but I will show them where things are first of all, and then they'll navigate their way around it. But Moe learned my whole house in about five days. Shandy took about two weeks. And Shandy had never encountered stairs before, so a couple of times showing her up and down and she had it. It was amazing, actually. It, they are very amazing. All of the collars that worn by the other cats have bells on them, and each one has a different tone, so that Moe knows exactly where each cat is. I think the biggest thing people ask me is, how do they find their litter box? You know, Do they have accidents? People worry about that. But once you've shown them where the litter box is, cats are very clean, hygienic animals and creatures of habit. So as long as you're not moving that litter box, they'll find it. And neither of them have ever, never had an accident, so. What would you say to somebody who's considering adopting a blind cat, but is not sure if they have what it takes to care for them? I think it's a wonderful thing to do. You'd be amazed how normal blind cats are. They run, they jump, they play, they eat, they poop, they do everything a normal cat does. And in many ways it's more rewarding because they'll teach you about how amazing it is that they're navigating everything so successfully in a dark world, basically. So just make sure your house is safe, have a think about, you know, is my house right? And go for it, because honestly you won't regret it. Mm -hmm.